It's time for Life Point Kids. Stand to your feet and let's sing. God's love never fails and it lasts forever. Our God is great. Our God is great. My God is with me. Yes, He's with me wherever. Our God is great. Our God is great. He's an awesome God. Bigger than my wildest dreams. Monumental love. Eternal love for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to LifePoint Kids. I'm so glad that you're here today. If this is your first time with us or if you've been here a gazillion times before, we're really happy that you're here. On the count of three, I want you all to shout, yay! Ready? One, two, three. Yay! So why did I have you shout yay? Well, because Friday was your last day of school and I know you're ready for summer. Another reason you should shout yay is because VBS starts next week. That's right, June 13th through the 17th, we will be having Vacation Bible School. This year's theme is called Monumental, Celebrating God's Greatness. And it's for kids four years old through those going into the sixth grade this fall. Now, registration is available online at the church website or in person here at LifePoint. So let your parents know about it because it's gonna be a blast. Now, for the next few weeks, we are gonna be posting Blast from the Past Kids Church Services online. Make sure you watch every Sunday though because they're great lessons. Today, we're continuing our series about lessons we can learn from the Apostle Paul's life. This is a last lesson from this series, and it's about how to handle loneliness. So let's get started by going to Jesus in prayer and asking him to bless our time together today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you that we get to come to church. We thank you that we get to uh, be with our friends, that we get to hear your word, Lord. We ask you to help us today, open our eyes, to see the good news you have for us, open our ears to hear the word, and open our hearts to accept the word that we have today, that you have for us. Lord, we ask you to help us have a great time and help us retain what we learn. In Jesus' name, amen.
adventurers, welcome to another episode of How To with me, Puma McKinchies. Let's go ahead and get to our video question so I can help you survive this crazy, crazy world. Hey Puma Butter and Jelly, my question is, how do I deal with loneliness? Great question, Brayden. But first off, my name is Puma McKinchies, not Puma Butter and Jelly. Look, loneliness can be a tough thing to overcome, but you came to the right guy to fix it. All you need is a pinwheel, a bottle, a fanny pack, and a poncho. Then assemble like so. Then bam, you got yourself a brand new friend. And all you need to do is continue making friends until you're not lonely anymore. And then you might say, well, hey, Puma, how do you know the real people from the fake people that you made? Easy. You see, the fake people, their heads pop off because that's where you insert the batteries. Here, uh, watch. Uh, hey, sir, might I ask you a few questions for my TV show? Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I, I don't really well, know. Well, great. It's Look, uh, as you can see, this person right here is not a real person. Huh? Yeah, I'll show you. Watch, his head pops Oh my, <gasps> what did you just do? I just, uh. No, you're crazy, I gotta get this guy to the hospital. Well, uh, I guess old Puma's lonely again. Well, adventurers, that'll do it for today's show. See you next time on. Wait, 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 Puma. Hey Jed, what do you need? Well, uh, listen, I, I really don't think that you answered that kid's question correctly. After all, that is not how to handle loneliness. You didn't even really make a person that was like a mannequin, and it's not gonna help you with your loneliness. Jed, how dare you give away that falsification? I mean, uh, well, how should I have answered that question? Well, we all face times of loneliness in our lives, but it's not fake mannequins that help us through times of loneliness. It's God that can help us. In fact, there's a great story in the Bible about the Apostle Paul and how he dealt with loneliness. I think you should hear it. Paul, was he someone you made up to cure your loneliness? Uh, no. Remember the Apostle Paul in the Bible? Ah, uh, yes. I forget things sometimes. Well, why don't you move over there and hold the boom mic so that I can go ahead and get to my sign off? That's a good idea. I'll go over there, you do the sign off. This is Puma McKinchie signing off until next time on How To. I am so grateful for Puma's boom operator, Jed. He has helped so much in getting those kids' questions answered correctly. Puma has a great heart, but sometimes he kind of misses giving good answers. Well, it's time to go to Skittles to find out what's up today. Here he is, the SKI to the double T L E S Skittles. What's up? What's up? Oh yeah, what's up everybody? It's me, the SKI to the double T L E S Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we're talking about how to handle loneliness. So every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. I know I am never alone. Sometimes we feel all alone. Hello? Anyone, Anyone here? here? <laughs> but even though we may feel all alone, we know God is always with us. He ain't never gonna leave us ain't never gonna forsake us. So anytime, I mean anytime, somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them. I know I am never alone, and that is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby. That's a great what's up, Skittles. There you have it. Today's what's up is I know I am never alone. And it is so true. If you have Jesus, you are never alone. So every time you hear someone yell, what's up, stand to your feet and yell, I know I am never alone. 
Let's try it one time. What's up? I know I am never alone. Wow, great job. And that's today's What's Up. Stand your feet and join us singing praises to Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Apostle Paul. He and the crew he was with 
just set sail from Malta, where God did some amazing things through Paul. He was protected during a snake bite and given the opportunity to heal every sick person on the island. Though things were going well for Paul, he was still being held as a prisoner by Roman soldiers. When Paul and the crew finally arrived in Rome, things didn't go so well for Paul. When they arrived in Rome, Paul was put on house arrest, which means he had to always stay at home. And he was all alone. Paul was placed in a small house all by himself with only one guard standing watch over him. It would have been super easy for Paul to get discouraged and bummed out being alone like that. It would have been easy for Paul to let the loneliness get the best of him, but instead, Paul chose to use his bad for good. One day, Paul sat down to write a letter. This was no ordinary letter, but this letter would one day be known as the book of 2 Timothy in the Bible. Paul may have been lonely, but he knew he could still write. So he wrote to Timothy to encourage him and teach him some important lessons he had learned about following Jesus and handling his loneliness. Paul wrote, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will onward to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. What an encouraging thing to say, especially coming from someone whose circumstances don't really look like he has fought the good fight and finished the race. Then Paul said, at my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. The Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me, the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. Paul knew that in times of loneliness, he needed to recognize God's presence and use the strength it gave him to reach out to lost people so they too could experience his presence. In today's lesson, you will learn how to handle loneliness and use it for good, just like Paul. What's up? Hi everybody, this is the Gary Show. I'm Gary, and uh, we are here in my bedroom at my mom's house. I mean the studio, and uh, during the show, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do things that I am exceptional in. <laughs> but before we do that, let me teach you today's power verse. Today's power verse says, For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13, 5. That's a great power verse, isn't it? Now I could use some help from the boys. So I want all the boys to stand up and say the power verse with me, Gary, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13, Five. Great job, boys. You can sit down. Now I need some help from the girls. I want all the girls to stand up and help Gary. On the count of three, we're going to say the power verse together. Ready? One, two, three. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13, five. Nothing. It's like mom said, heartless. Oh, good job. You guys can sit. Now it's time for Gary's how-to. I'm gonna show you something extraordinary. I'm gonna cook. That's heavy. All right, I'm gonna make peanut butter and jelly bread, okay? First, you need the peanut butter and jelly, and you need a loaf, then, you grab it from the middle. That's the best part in the middle. You just get in there. Okay, once you have the loaf, you take the top off the peanut butter and you just get it in there. 
<laughs> There's that. And then you get the other loaf and you put it in the peanut butter. <sighs> nice and in. Then you put them together and you have a peanut butter sandwich with jelly and loaf. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I am making dinner, Mom! Peanut butter and loaf and jelly! Honey, loaf! What's your name? Yes, it's gonna be ready in time! Look, I have to go. But before I do, can I have everybody stand up and say the power verse with me all together? Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13, 5. Great job, everybody. You can sit down. Well, that's about all the time I've paid for. I only get three minutes and 52 seconds. It's almost gone. But don't worry, because next time, Gary's going to teach you another power verse, and then I'll also show you how to do stuff. But before we go, I really want to say something that I've been wanting to say the whole time during the show. It's super important, and Mom said I shouldn't say it, but I'll say it anyways, because I really I have to say it, and it's going to change the world. Um, see, Gary really wants to talk to you at this uh, time about stuff. And this thing I'm going to say is this. What's up? I know I am never alone. All right, it's time for our message. All right, so sit back and relax. Open your ears and open your heart to receive God's word, all right? So we all have times in our lives when we feel lonely. It's not unusual. When we're feeling lonely, it is so easy to think that no one cares about us and no one even knows that we exist. Well, today we learned that the Apostle Paul certainly had some lonely times. He spent an awful lot of time in prison not because he did anything wrong, but simply because the leaders didn't like him telling other people about Jesus. While he was in prison, the Apostle Paul spent a lot of time writing letters. These letters are actually now books in the New Testament. Today, we're going to look at one of those letters. It's a letter that he wrote to a young man named Timothy. We're going to learn how Paul handled his moments of loneliness. And it's going to teach us a lot about how we can handle moments when we feel lonely too. See, the truth is, we are never really alone. No, we're not. No matter how lonely we feel, the Bible says that God is everywhere all the time. So when you find yourself feeling lonely, you need to recognize God's presence. Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 4.17, the Lord stood with me and gave me strength. Even while he was in prison, Paul knew that God was with him. He knew that God was never going to leave him all alone. God is always, absolutely always with us, no matter how lonely we feel. We may not always feel him there, but he's still there. Uh, uh, Aaliyah, come on up here for me. Come, come on up here, would you? Come on up here. Stand in front of me. All right, guys, this is Aaliyah. Say hi to Aaliyah. Hi. Hi. Good job. Good job. Say hi to the people. Hi. All right, cool. All right, so Aaliyah, I'm here behind you, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm behind Aaliyah, right? Does she see me? Nope. Nope, she can't see me. Can you see me? No. Nope, she can't see me. That's because she's looking straight ahead. She's not looking back behind her. And she don't have eyes in her head. She has a ponytail, but she don't have eyes in the back of her head. <laughs> so can she feel me back here? No, she really can't feel me standing here. Can you feel me standing back here? No. No? Okay. So, so just because she can't see me and just because she can't feel me with her here, does that change the fact that I'm actually here? No, it doesn't change it, does it? Not at all. Sometimes we can't feel God's presence with us because we are so focused on the feeling of the loneliness that we have. But just because we can't see or feel God with us, that doesn't change the fact that he is here with us. 
All right? So we may feel alone, but we are never really alone because God will never leave us or never forsake us. All right, thank you, Ali. I appreciate that. Good job. Thank you. All right, so when you're facing a time of loneliness, you have to remember that God is always there with you, no matter how lonely you feel. There is something else we must do, too, when we feel lonely, and that is use your bad for good. Yeah, use your bad for good. Paul did exactly that. He used his loneliest hours to encourage his friend Timothy. Paul could have moped around all day and whined and complained about how bad he had it, but he didn't. He could have written letters to the people that looked that, that locked him up telling that they, they were horrible people for making him live all alone like that, but you know what? He didn't. Instead, Paul used his time all alone to write letters to encourage others. Paul used his bad for good. So in turn, God then used Paul's bad for good. See, God put those letters that he wrote to Timothy in the Bible to encourage all other followers of Jesus. That means the, Bible, the letters we read in Timothy are the same ones that Paul wrote. And that's pretty cool. So when you're faced with loneliness, maybe you don't have any friends at school. You know, or maybe your mom or dad isn't home for a long time. Or you know, it could be that you've moved to a new uh, home or a new school recently. Or maybe it's even something like your sister won't play with you. But whatever it is, use your bad for good. Instead of feeling all down and sad and mopey and stuff, do something else that's good. You know, write a card to encourage someone. Help your mom do the dishes. Or when you recognize God's presence, spend some time worshiping him. Another way you can use your bad for good is to reach out. Reach out to others. See, Paul didn't let his loneliness allow him to become self-centered. It would have been easy for it to become all about him because he was all alone in his house. He was the only person around, but Paul knew that he needed to reach out. Remember in the Bible story, we heard some of the things that Paul wrote in his letter to Timothy. The Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me, the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. See, we need to allow God's presence to give us strength so that we can reach out and share about Jesus with everyone. You can't let your loneliness get the best of you. Instead, you need to recognize God's presence, use your bad for good, and reach out to others to show them God's love and presence can help them in their times of loneliness. Let's go to God in prayer and ask him to help us remember that God is always with us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word today. We thank you for all the great things we've been able to learn about from Paul, um, ways that we can better our lives and better our serving you. Lord, we ask you to help us that when we get lonely, when we feel lonely, that we won't think about just ourselves, that we'll first off remember that we're not alone. You're there with us. You're in our presence. You're with us at all times. So we're not truly alone. And Lord, secondly, we ask, us, ask you to help us to remember not to get all about us. Help us to remember that there's other people out there and reach out to them and tell them and show them what an amazing God you are. We ask you to help us with all these things and we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. So do you know Jesus? Have you accepted him in your heart? Have you told him that you wanna follow him for the rest of your life? Well, it's really simple to do. All you have to accept him and do is accept him in your heart, believe that he died on the cross for your sins, and confess your sins to him. It's that simple, very simple, easy steps. If you don't know those steps or don't know how to do those steps, I'm sure that your mom or dad or your grandma and grandpa or, or your brother and sister, even your older brother and sister, would be glad to walk you through those steps. And if they aren't able to or don't or aren't available to, you can even call me, get a hold of me, come see me or anybody here at the church, and we will tell you about those steps and how to accept Jesus into your heart. 
I promise you, it'll be the most amazing thing you will ever do. Hey! What's up? I know I am never alone. All right, what do you remember from today's lesson? Let's do the brain drain to find out. Question number one, what's up today? No matter what, God is with me, I'm not alone, or I know I am never alone. That's right, I know I am never alone. Question number two, at which city did Paul and the crew finally end up? Rome, Babylon, or Jerusalem? You've got it, they were in Rome. Question number three, true or false, Paul lived with many people in Rome. Nope, Paul didn't live with anyone in Rome. Question number four, how many guards were outside of Paul's house? None, two, or one? Good job, one guard was outside of Paul's house. Question number five, true or false? Paul wrote a letter to Timothy while he was alone. You've got it, Paul did write a letter to Timothy while he was alone. Question number six, true or false? We are never actually alone in life. You've got it, we are never alone in life. Question number seven. According to our lesson today, recognize God's power, recognize God's presence, or recognize God's love. That's right, always recognize God's presence. Question number eight. According to our lesson today, use your bad for better, use your bad for bad, or use your bad for good. Use your bad for good. Question number nine. According to our lesson today, reach out, branch out, or stress out. That's right, always reach out. And question number 10. Where was our power verse found? Matthew 3.3. Hebrews 13, 5, or Isaiah 44, 8. You've got it, Hebrews 13, 5. Well, how did you do? Did you do your very best? Great. Game on! All right, it is time for Game On. And as you can tell by the table here, the game is going to be a cupcake eating contest between Leah and Alexi. All right. So with that going on, I want you to know that, that Alexi has chosen the white frosting cupcake and Leah has chosen the blue frosting cupcake. So blue being my favorite color, doesn't matter who finishes first, Alexi, or it's going to, or Leah is going to win. Okay. So with that said, all over my tongue. Yeah, there we go. All right. So you are ready. Now you're going to put your hands behind your back. Keep your hands behind your back. And when I say go, oh, here, let me scoot these out for you. There you go. <laughs> Manhandling your cupcake. Uh, when I say go, you are going to devour. eat. Oh, you're going to devour <laughs> your cupcake. Okay. So on the count of go, and on the count of three, you go and you will eat your entire cupcake. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready, Aaliyah? Yeah. <laughs> are you still hungry? No. no? <laughs> All right. Here we go. One. Two, don't start yet. One, two, three, go. is a winner. Lexi is a winner. Good job. The human vacuum cleaner here. All right. So um, uh, let me get the bucket and you're going to draw out. 
the virtual player today. Who is the virtual player today? Who do you have there? Marshall Puckett. Marshall, Rue, you are the winner today. You're the virtual winner. So let me know you were watching online or that you were here in person, and we will give you a $5 Walmart gift card. All right, girls, good job. You can finish your cupcakes now. Lick the plate off. Get it all nice and clean if you want. It was really awesome having you be a part of Life for Kids today. We're so glad you were here. We hope you enjoyed the service, and we hope you had a another opportunity to learn a little bit more about how much Jesus loves you. Let's pray and ask him to help us with what we learned today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we learned this great lesson from the Apostle Paul today, Lord. We ask you to help us to live what we learned. Lord, we ask you to help us to show our friends and tell our friends about what an awesome God you are this week, Lord. We ask you to help us do this. Lord, we ask you to keep us safe, um, and, and just be, be a, a protector for us, Lord, like you've given us in your word. You've told us in your word that you would protect us. So we ask you to keep us safe and help us have a great week. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So remember, VBS begins on June 13th. That's only like a week away. So there's still time to register. And also, we're going to be starting a new kids church series online on July 10th. I know that seems like an eternity away, but it's not. So until then, we're going to be posting Blast from the Past Kids Church Services. So we're going to close with another song from our upcoming VBS. All right, you ready? So stand to your feet, get ready to sing, get ready to go along with the music. All right, so see you next week at Life Point Kids, where we're learning to live for Jesus every day. Get down low. You can go even lower. Here we go. Everybody jump up high. Come on, jump up. I know you can jump even higher. Come on, let's shout as loud as we can shout. Woo! God is here right now. Yes, He's here without a doubt. Yeah, He is always a Every up and down He will never leave us He'll always be around He's the one The one we can trust God will always be with us God will always